Welcome back to a new machine learning tutorial. In this video, we are going to talk about lasso regression. We are going to talk about the logic behind the algorithm and we are going to code it using Python scikit-learn. Let's start coding. I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code as my code editor in this tutorial. You can use anything that you want. It's completely up to you. I'm going to be creating a new file like lasso regression.ipmb and I'm going to select my kernel quickly like this and let's write lasso regression and let's talk about the concept so lasso regression or let's write the full name of it for a single time shrinkage and selection operator it's a little bit long so i will be calling it as lasso regression and this is a linear regression technique that adds a penalty equal to the absolute value of the magnitude of the coefficients to the cost function we are going to talk about its formula too so this penalty helps to reduce the complexity of the model effectively performing feature selection by shrinking some coefficients to zero the key idea is to balance the trade-off between fitting the data well and keeping the model simple so let's quickly talk about the linear regression in linear regression we have a formula like beta zero and beta 1 x1 and in linear regression the goal is to model the relationship between the independent variables like x and we can have more like this and i'm going to call it like this beta 2 x2 we can do it like this too and an independent variable target so this is going to be our target as a linear combination of features like this so here is our intercept beta 0 beta 1 is and with beta 2 they are our coefficients x1 x2 are our input features and y prediction is our output feature and we have a cost function on that so let's write like linear regression in here and we will say y prediction at the start and now let's talk about the cost function in linear regression so it is sum of squared errors now we are going to talk about that sum of squared errors which we can also call as sse so let's take a look at its formula we want to minimize this value i will say sse and the formula of it is we are going to take the actual y values minus y pred and we will take the second power like this so this is our sse formula and since these are distance between the actual data point and the predicted one we want this to be lower as possible and in lasso regression it modifies the cost function by adding a penalty term which is proportional to the sum of the absolute values of the coefficients so what we are going to say is lasso cost function and it's going to be sse plus we are going to have a hyperparameter that controls the strength of the penalty and we will say we will give coefficient like this so by the way we can say ij i'm not using that because it's not looking really well in this typing format but it's going to be giving like let's say i and i in here this represents the sum of the absolute values of the coefficients also this is called as the l1 norm so the larger the parameter in here is the greater the penalty in here like if you make this larger the penalty is going to be greater and the more coefficients will shrink towards zero potentially making some coefficients exactly zero effectively removing some features from the model this makes lasso useful for feature selection okay let's start coding what i'm going to do firstly is i will say from scikit-learn that data sets import make regression and next i'm going to create my data using make regression method from scikit-learn i'm going to create thousand samples and i'm going to create 20 features like i'm going to do that then i'm going to add a noise of 0 0.1 so let me show you the x matrix we have right now and y vector we have we have these values right now next what i'm going to do is I'm going to split the data using train test split. I'm going to talk about the concept a little bit for a recap, but you can watch my full tutorial on the train test split if you don't know this concept, because I think 
I explained the concept well in here, but I'm going to be talking about in here too. So no problem if you don't want to watch and don't know the concept. X, Y, test size, let's set as 0.2. So let's talk about it. By train test split, we are going to have two sets, training set and testing set. And what we are going to do is, our training set is X train and Y train, our testing set is X test and Y test. And in here, what we are going to do is, we are going to train our model with the training set we have, and then we are going to make predictions with our model using X test, and we are going to compare the predicted values with the actual Y values, which are Y test. So for the training side, we are going to be using training data, and for the testing side, we are going to be using the testing data we have. And then our test size is 0.2, which means that 20% of all data we have is going to be in the testing set and 80% is going to be on the training set. So we have 1000 samples. This means that 800 data points are going to be in the training set and 200 are going to be in the testing set. Also, we can confirm this by calling the X train and X test. Great, so this was a quick recap. Now I'm going to say from scikit-learn.linear model import lasso. Then I will say from scikit-learn.matrix import mean squared error with R squared score. So lasso is our topic in this video, the model we are going to create and mean squared error with R squared are going to be our evaluation matrix. We want our mean squared error to be lower for reaching to a greater model and R squared to be higher. So let's initialize the base model. So I will say lasso and it's going to be a cute little lasso in here. Then I'm going to train my model using fit method, X train, Y train. And here we have, now I'm going to make predictions with it using X test and for comparing with Y test. And I'm going to store this vector in Y prediction. Now I will say mean squared error is going to be mean squared error Y test with Y prediction. And we can just take it like this and R squared score, we can direct call like this too, Y test and Y prediction. So by the way, this is a really high R squared score. So I'm going to change the synthetic data a little bit. Like let's make this noise 10 and I'm going to make run all the cells again. Let's see our R squared scores. It's like this again, I'm going to be rerunning. So it's fitting really well. I want to change it a little bit. So let's add the noise of 100 and let's see if we are going to have and change. Yeah, okay, so it's going to be better for working on this model. Now, all the steps are same. What I do is I change the data a little bit. The codes are the same for getting a higher mean squared error and lower R squared score because I don't want the model to fit really, really good for this tutorial. And let's talk about this evaluation matrix. We want mean squared error to be lower and R squared score to be higher for reaching to a better model. And Mean squared error measures the average squared difference between the actual and predicted values. Lower values are better again, and R squared score indicates how well the model explains the variance in the target variable. Values closer to 1 are better, and it can take values between 0 and 1. Okay, now we are going to talk about its parameter alpha in here in the formula and how we can tune them. So, for tuning this alpha value, we are going to use lasso cross-validation. But firstly, let's talk about it again. Higher alpha values increase regularization, which can shrink more coefficients to zero, more feature selection. Lower alpha decreases regularization, making the model more similar to ordinary linear regression. And for tuning it, what I'm going to do is, I will say, come to here, I'm going to say, from scikit-learn.linear model, import lasso cross-validation like this. Then I'm going to set it using lasso cross-validation is going to be lasso cross-validation like this. And I'm going to set the cross-validation as five. So cross-validation means we are going to be splitting our data into five folds 
and for each fold we are going to be training our model with other folds we have and testing on that fold and I have a tutorial on this topic too you can check the channel playlist machine learning playlist for that and I'm going to make it run now I will say lasso cross validation that fit and I'm going to train my model with this white train and I'm going to say best alpha is going to be lasso cross validation dot alpha like this and let me call the best alpha it's 2.4561 so it found this value needs to be 2.45 it's the optimal value and now I will say by the way we can use predict method with this like Russell cross validation dot predict x test we can do that and we can get a vector like this I'm going to store this predictions like on y predictions cross validation and I will say mean squared error is going to be y test with the predicted values and cross validation now I'm going to make it run and let's also call the r squared score on y test with y prediction cross validation we have and here is r squared score so let's compare them it was 900 9368 and 0.77 for the R squared side. So we got a lower mean squared error value and higher R squared score, which means that we improved our model performance by tuning this alpha value we have. Great. So this is how we can find the optimal alpha value. And so let's summarize what we did in this video quickly. And again, lots of regression least absolute shrinkage and selection operator linear regression formula in here and here is our sum of squared errors formula and this is our lasso cost function here is the improvement comes from the lasso and we create our data set with make regression method then we use train test split for splitting our data into training sets and testing set and then what we do is I showed you the logic behind it, I summarized the concept a little bit and then I imported lasso from scikit-learn.linear model and our matrix here, we initialized the base model, we trained it and we get predictions on y prediction, then we check for the mean squared error and r squared score. Again, the lower this value the better model, the higher this value the better model, then we imported lasso cross validation and we set the 5 folds in here. Then we fitted our cross validation, we find the best alpha, we make predictions with it, and we get the mean squared error and r squared score, and we saw that our model is improved by the tuning operation we did. Thanks for watching this tutorial on lasso regression. I have a machine learning tutorials playlist where I have more than 40 videos just like this one. You can reach to that playlist link from the cards of this video or from the description. I'm sharing new data science videos every week on my channel. You can subscribe for more videos like this. Have a great day.